Hello, welcome back. Sterling C. Sample here, your instructor for the day, coming to you with another lesson. And today, this lesson is for beginners, okay? I know you're beginners say, uh, oh, I ain't giving you all nothing. You all want to learn some stuff. You have your pants sitting in there. This is for beginners. And this technique today is hand techniques. I know I taught you how to find your notes in the next and the first lessons. You learn to find your notes, you learn how to do a, your, your chromatic scale and everything. You work that down. I hope you practice your skills. Now, you have to be able to put, position your hands properly. Okay, guys? Hand position is very important in playing this instrument. So now we're going to dive into some hand position techniques and we're going we're gonna to get this thing real nice for you guys today. Okay, so you can just play anything in any chord, in any position that you want to play. Fix my color a little bit there, okay guys? Right, so now, let's get into the hand position, okay? Wanna bring the camera down to the pan here right now, so you can get an in-depth look at the pan. Okay guys, now, now, now as I show you, uh, at, at, at the, when you do your chromatic scales, you hold your sticks like this, okay? This is our whole home sticks. These two here, right like that. Two fingers, right? They let this this one go give it a little support. You hold like that, right? And you're rolling, you roll like this. Until you get it more intense. You get ten intensified. You get faster. Some guys hold the sticks out like this, some guys hold it in like this. Some guys hold two of them together. But some guys do like this. This is the real one. Okay? Now Left side, right side of the pan is for your right hand. Left side of the pan is for your left hand. Unless you're playing two chords over here, you bring your hand over there. Unless you're playing two chords over here, you bring your right hand over to help, okay? Unless necessary, but your left hand is for your, your left side of the pan. Your right hand is for your right side of the pan, okay? So, so play. So what's the type of scale? See how this, see what, what's where I start here? I start from the D. No, you really start from the C. Let's start from the C. The C notes. C is basically the notes you start from in anything you do it. Okay? C, C sharp. So you see that movement there? Watch me. C, C sharp. I bring my, my left hand over down here to the D. So time this, time that, time my, my, my left, my, time I play this first note here and I go to the second note here, this hand is already thinking of where it's supposed to go. Right here. So, what here? This hand already halfway through to the other note. That gives you speed, okay? Always think ahead. Right? And this note going right here. This this other hand, your right hand going right up to the, to the E flat. Okay? And your left hand going up to the E. So if your palm is in your palm is in, is in if your palm is how I taught you how it was, then it, it will be about the same way, but it could be just the opposite to me. Okay? Left side have the flats, right side have the sharps. Uh, left side of the regular, right side of the sharps. So right side of the regular, left side of the sharps. It's going to be one and one side. One and one side. Right? Right? So, so, C to the, C to C sharp one. Watch my hand. This right hand here. Your left hand now. Going to come up to this note. Okay? Because you don't want to, you don't want to cross like that. You don't want to cross like that. Crossing is that is that's illegal cross. That's an illegal cross right there. Come on. That's legal right there. And then you come down here with your right hand. Right? Right? See that? Right hand. Then you, you get the note as close as possible. Now, your left hand is up here. Your right hand is over here helping your right hand. Left, left hand. Now, your next note is your F sharp, which is over here. Right? So, you need to just get to that F sharp. Which close? Which is closer? Your right hand or your left hand? Your right hand is closer to the F sharp, so you come over here, right? 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 And now your left F sharp here, and your, your left hand is still up here. And your next note from your left hand is your G sharp, is your G. So you see which one your G is closest? You're very close to your next note, right? So watch it again. Right? Then your right hand come over here to the F sharp and your G is right here. Okay? Right? And your G sharp right here. See how close it is? Close it is right here. And your A right here. Right? 
and your B flat. So you wonder why he bring his hand quite over here and this B flat is here. Because you're going to, your B is in the middle. So you, you need you need to get the B. Right? So what's what I gonna do here now? I go use my right hand, which is more which is more flexible than the left hand to go to, to play these two notes here. Because you're, you're on neutral grounds here, you're in the middle of the pan, so you can use your right hand, okay? So. Right? And then your C will be right here. So you see how close you see you say, eh? And if you, you make your whole circle already. You can go around again, but go higher. Check it out again. Right? 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 So these two notes down here and these two notes up there is close to each other. So you see that? You see that? That's where it's at right there. And then the B, then the C. Then you keep going. Higher. scale it's important there you go with your scale it's important that you put your hands in proper perspective do not cross like that don't do that don't do that that's no good okay you work like that okay technique you need to learn you will learn all that soon don't don't get tired of, don't get try to get tired of that that's just a little bonus i gave you now let's do some let's do some mary had a little lamb okay mary had a little see that you keep your hand most of the time the notes is right there so when you play, when you do that, don't put your hand all the way up here and try to come back in your nose. Don't do like put your hand all the way up here. Keep your hand close inside the palm. Keep your hand as close as possible to the nose because it's most likely that note will be right next to it. This is built in fifths. So all, everything is close by. It's thirds and fifths. Everything is close by, okay? You go back to the first one. B, 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 A, B. B A G A B B B A A A B A D D B A D B B B B One two three four. Remember to level four in the first lesson. One two three four. One two one one one. That's a roll. One two three. You see everything is right there. My hand ain't going nowhere. Everything is right there. Position. And A different note. One, two. So, one, two. One, two. Right? All the single notes. One, 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 one. One, two. One, 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 one. So, the note says D, E, D, B, E, G, G. D, E, D, G. D E G D. That 
change the second time. You go G F sharp, G F sharp, G F sharp, E A for apple, E for so G F sharp, E for eggs. G F sharp, E two three. You roll for three, right? One one a one roll. You roll a D for two. One, two. I want all ones now. C, B, A, G. E, G, G, one, two. You roll and roll and D for two. And one, two. Right, so that's Jesus played it all. So, technique is very important, okay, guys? Hand technique is very important. Again, let's do another song. Let's do a. Uh, let's do a. Um, I can play a little bit of the song, a uh, little more than the sea. Oh, they didn't charge me for copyrights, but I'll do it. Here we go. This is my bag. My hand ain't going nowhere. Keep your hand. Simple. Your hand must be your, your, your position is very important. Okay, don't try to cross like that. You see, right? I'm right there. Every note's right there. The next chord is next move is. See that? Yeah. Everything is right. Is that? Yeah. There you go. Everything is right there. So that's my class for today. Listen to me. That's my lesson for this. This this course. This course is for beginners. You gotta take it and practice it. Rewind the tape over and over again. And if you have any problems, you can call me, email me, sterling696 at gmail.com or oh, uh Island Steel Jump Training Center.com. You can go there. Uh, uh, steel drum, Island Music Steel Drum Training Center at hotmail.com. You can send me a, send me a note, send me a request, okay? Anything you want, you tell it to me, okay? Sterling C sample, you listen to me. That's the class for the day. I hope that you had some, you learned something from this. As a beginner, you have to practice, okay, guys? You have to practice. You can't start this and do it one week and then practice. You have to practice every day. Set up your pan in the corner of the house, you know, where you can, where, where you, where you can see it. Get your stand, uh, get your stand. If you get a stand like this, for my man Cupid, e pan Cupid, get a nice little stand. I get me a nice stand. This, this goes down like this. Beautiful stand. You get, you need a stand, okay? You need a stand. You put your pan in, on. Right? You also need a case. You need a case to put your pan, protect your instrument, okay? Um, if you're buying a pan, make sure, make sure they tell them. What kind of pan you need? You need a fourth and fifth, or you need a fifth. You need a desperado style. Fourth and fifth is the most um, is the most standardized pan. So I advise you to get a fourth and fifth. Okay. And most of the bands they're going, I think all stars have them too. Renegades have them. Renegades have have fifth star, but Renegades just shift a little bit. Desperados have them. Exodus have all. Uh, Fawn Clair, all these bands they have fourth and fifth. Um, most of the bands you go in, that's what you were saying, the Rados, uh, uh, for all the bands in America here, they got mostly fourths and fifth. Okay, guys, that is the most standardized band. So you need that band. You don't want to go behind a pan. You learn, you learn on the fifth and you can't play the fourths and fifth unless you learn the both of them. Okay. Again, the fourths and fifths make up like the circle of fifths. Okay. The B, you learn the B, you get the C, the C is down here instead of up there. The C, 
they got the circular movement C G A the C is here the G is here the A is right here and you follow it up as 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 it says you know learn it get your skill down pack this is Sterling C sample coming to you from the Student Training Center of America blessing you with another class beginners beginners you can do it okay so call me if you need some some more personal lessons call me and we set up some stuff okay again this is the program you can support it by sending any donations to me or to the, to the program anything you want to send you can send it god bless you if you want to bless the program this is free but if you want to bless it bless it thank you and god bless you see you soon bye